All right, good morning traders. Today is March 20, March 22nd, 2024. Thank you for being here. My SPY pivot this morning, 523.05. Above it, I'm a bull. Below it, I'm a bear. Yesterday, SPY, QQQ, XLF, Diamond Dow, XLI, that's our industrials, and IYT, that's our transports, all made new all-time highs above bullish traps over the 17 EMA. FNGU broke the downtrend, made a higher high, higher low, while closing over the bullish trap and over the flat 17 EMA. IWM also broke the downtrend, making a higher high and a higher low, while closing over the bullish trap over the flat 17 EMA. All of the Fab Five are in daily uptrends. Silver and gold in uptrends, USO in an uptrend, and the newest addition to the uptrend is the US dollar index. We'll get to that in just a second. So gold still in an uptrend, printed a new all-time high while silver still in an uptrend, remember, and uh, printed a lower high and a lower low, closed between the trap and the 17 EMA. USO in an uptrend made a lower high and a lower low while closing inside the bullish trap above the rising 17 EMA. UNG in it still in a downtrend made a lower high, lower low closing below the bearish trap and below the 17 EMA. Okay, US dollar as of this morning, just broke the downtrend, trading above the last lower high of the downtrend above the flat 200 SMA. We'll look at that in just a minute. Let's go take a look at some other charts. And we're not looking for that one. So here we are. Here's SPY. All right, higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap, three on top of the eight. Okay, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA. All right, I'll go through these fast because there's some of them, they all say the same thing. Diamond Dow, same thing. Higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA. Remember, all of the Fab Five are in daily uptrends. Okay, Diamond Dow printing a new all-time high. SPY. Reminder, printing a new all-time high, okay? QQQ, same thing. Higher low, higher high, closing over the trap. Printing a new all-time. Higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap. Printing a new all-time high right there. Okay, that's QQQ, all right? XLI, same thing happening there. All right, over the bullish trap, over the rising 17. Okay, new all-time high for industrials. Okay, what else we got? IYT, transports, right there. Inking out the new all-time high right there yesterday. Closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA right there. So there's transports. Who else did a new all-time high? Uh, let's see, let me visit my list just a second. And QQ, XLF, yes, XLF. All right, same thing. Higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap. That was the previous all time high, 4170. We got up to 42. So, new all time high for XLF. All right, let's go take a look at some of the other stuff. Let's start with FNGU. Okay, FNGU breaks the downtrend closing over this lower high candle right there. Okay, so higher low, higher high closing over the bullish trap. Still in an uptrend, FNGU. Now, resuming the uptrend. Okay, IWM, small caps, mid caps, Russell 2000. Okay, higher low, higher high closing over the bullish trap over the 17 EMA. Uptrend. Breaking over these lower highs over here, okay? So IWM in an uptrend. All of the Fab Five in uptrends. All right, let's go look at USO. Okay, USO yesterday, lower high, lower low, closing 
inside the bullish trap over the 17 EMA. UNG <clears throat> still in a downtrend, lower high, lower low, closing underneath the bearish trap under a falling 17 EMA. Not ready yet. Okay, so there's UNG. Let's take a look at precious metals. All right, GLD. Okay, new all-time high right up there. Higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA. That's GLD. SLV. All right, SLV, still in an uptrend, lower high, lower low, closing below, between the trap and the rising 17 EMA on SLV. All right, let's look at our technicals. Let's start off with the first one, T2122. We were in the overbought zone from the start till the end of the day. Nice work for the NYSE. T2123, we started out green, we ended green. It was a green day for T2123. T2123, three bar chart. We now have a whole lot of space in between price action and a rising 17 EMA on the three bar. Nice run. Look at this run right here. Really nice run. Didn't get flipped out, not for, ever since February. Actually, I mean, that's really not too bad. That didn't break down much at all. That's not much. That's, that's probably hard to sit through that right there. But, wow, nice run all the way back from November. All the way up, you know. Getting close to those all-time highs up here, okay. You can see we're we're getting within striking distance, T2123 for the NYSE. Well, you know what? Inflation will do that for you. Okay, anytime you increase revenue, all right, you're going to have, uh, well, bottom line's got to get bigger, right? So the multiple's got to look better. You know, anytime you got inflation, this is what we're dealing with. When was the all-time high? Good question, Rickster. Let's go back and take a peek. I'm going to go to the week. Going to go to the three-day, and that was 2022. That was uh, here's your COVID crash, okay? And that was the COVID rally right there, right after COVID. That was when Moderna and uh, Pfizer. And all of the healthcare pharmaceuticals were on fire just before 2022, right there. Okay, uh, what's the date on that? 11 19 21. Okay, so almost to 2022, right there. November of 2021. There's your all-time highs. So there's our three-bar chart. Well, no, that's not the three-bar. Let's go back to the three-bar. All right, so there's our three-bar. We're getting within striking distance. We're almost there. So we still got some more room to run, and all of the Fab Five are still in uptrends. Love it, all right? So let's go look at our FNGU indicators, the 15-minute of the FNGU. Okay, so we popped up, all right? So half the day was bullish. Actually, actually the pop-up was the only bullish thing happening. And from there, we just melted all day. But our 17 EMA and price action kind of made a connection at about right after the noon hour. And you can see we just resumed the melting all day. So we popped up and just melted all day. So there's FNGU, all right? So now let's take a look at, let's bring this over here. Open that up. Here's a dollar index, okay? Here's our chart of the dollar. Wish I could shrink that just a little bit. There's a way to do it. But anyways, all right, so. 
All right, so if we broke this high right here, which you see we're doing this morning, okay, that was the downtrend lower high producing the lower low. Well, we broke the lower high, so, and we made a higher low here, so we're now dollar is uh, kind of picking up and resuming the uptrend that it was once in. All right, so here is a huge rubber band candle hanging out over the flat 200. All right, so we break this candle up here. I mean, I think we're going all the way back up to the highs. We'll see what happens. All right, so there it is. U.S. dollar back into the uptrend. Economic calendar. Nothing really happening today except FOMC Chairman Jerome Powell is going to speak at 9 this morning. So in, a, in about 45 minutes, he's going to speak. Now, I don't know what he's going to say that couldn't have been said in the 2 o'clock announcement or the 2.30 presser or the interview he did on 60 Minutes like a while back. I don't know that anything's going to change. I don't think he's going to have an effect on the markets, but sometimes the markets just, you know, extrapolate something and uh, bounce it around. So we'll see what happens, okay? I, I do want to revisit one thing before uh, I finish up with the economic stuff. Okay, so uh, SPY is one I want to look at. I want to show you that we're at the top of one of my channels. Okay, so here's our uptrend cha channel. And we've been, I know there's a lot of lines on there, but price has been ping-ponging back and forth uh, between this channel right here, up, back, halfway up, back, up, breakout, back you know we are up here so i don't know if this is a take profit situation for uh investments and they want it to cool off some but you can see right where we are right now we're yesterday we hit the top of the channel and for the most part after popping up yesterday uh none of them could really get going uh, except the XLF. The XLF did power through to close pretty pretty high at the end of the day, but it still left a wick. I don't think anybody closed at the high of the day at the end of the day yesterday. I just want to take a peek around the, you know, walk around the block and see what happens. See, they got a, they left a wick up there. QQQ. Uh, you know, they sold off, popped up and sold off all day. I'm just showing you that channel because uh, we could be coming back to the middle of that channel. All right. So XLI, okay, they left some wick up there. XLF, they got some wick up there. IYT, okay, IYT left some wick up there. Wow, IYT. A little continuation going on there looks like a gap up and they're coming down too because I see price here and prior price action up there okay gold I see gold popped up and came down so I just wanted to point that out and share that with you you know take it for what it is all right doesn't mean anything but we did hit the upside of this channel that's been you know, tested once, twice, three, four. It's the fifth time right here. So we'll see. We'll see what happens today. So maybe some more melting. I see we're down below yesterday's low. While we were holding, we were holding up there for a long time yesterday morning on the 10 minute chart. If you go back, here's our, you can see price action just kind of consolidating. And I got to tell you, it looked like it wanted to possibly break out with all of this bullish consolidation. Now we, then it had some melting, and I guess that was courtesy of the FNGU. 
and the rising dollar. And you can see more consolidation. And then we're getting some more melting. All right. So that's what we got going on. Just wanted to share. And we'll go back to the economic numbers because that's what we were dealing with. Because we we're going to talk about uh, Chairman Powell's going to speak today at 9 a.m. All right. So we did the dollar. Dollar back in an uptrend. Not a good thing. Okay. Uh, earnings calendar. Today, going to be a light day. Nothing big happening. Nothing notable that's going to move the markets. We'll take a peek at Monday. Nothing really notable moving the markets Monday, Tuesday. Uh, nothing new there. We've got some McCormick Spice. Only $18 billion. Okay, we'll see. Uh, Wednesday, 64 Cintas. I think they do uniforms. Paychecks. They probably get a payroll service. Okay, and Carnival. It's got two of them. They're going to report. Between the two, they're about $40 billion, 41 Okay, so paychecks. And that's it right there on, on the earnings front. Okay. Syntas will be interesting because um, they uh, pretty much outfit all the employees. So if, you know, they're doing higher revenue, kind of shows that, well, uh, the industries, the, the, the market's been uh, investing in, in people which is a good thing because that puts more people to work. So seeing Cintas go up helps uh, confirm whatever positive news we're getting out of the uh, unemployment employment numbers. Okay, so open interest for Max Payne for today. Oh, they changed it. All right, it was at 517 when I woke up, and now it's at 518. I'm just curious. I just want to refresh it. One more time. Yeah, still at 518. So 518 is Max Payne. And we do have uh, two and a half puts to every call. It is options expiration Friday. Okay, anything could happen. All right, Mr. Powell speaking. We get two to two and a half puts for every call. Max Payne is 518. It should be a rough day for traders. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'd expect the market to rip rip it all around today. We'll see what happens. All right, so now I'm going to take uh, questions in the room, and I'm going to render my video, and I'm sure you guys got some other people you want to listen to besides me. And um, Ricardo asks, is FDX in IYT? Not sure, but let's go Let's go try. Okay, and I'm going to hit the hamburger up here. See this? All right, and I'm going to put him in alphabetical order. And there it is. FDX is in the IYT. Right there. All right. That'd be a, a yes. All right, traders. Uh, everybody out there in uh, video land, thank you for subscribing and being a part of my channel. Again, I've got an open house coming up, 27th and 28th. Uh, thank you for hitting the thumbs up. Thank you for leaving the kind words. Really appreciate that. It helps with the uh, YouTube and the Rumble algorithms. So uh, please keep it up. I really appreciate it. Everybody, um, everybody have a safe day. Stay out of trouble. It should be a rocky day. We'll see what happens. Got a lot of conflicting stuff going on. We got SPY at the new all-time high, and yet the dollar now just entered an uptrend again. So we'll see what happens. I'll see everybody at 4 p.m. and we'll do another video.